Hi guys, welcome to the 16th exercise of Autodex Fusion 360 Beginners Tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to design this figure using Autodex Fusion 360. Here are the dimensions of the figure and the tools and commands we are going to use in this tutorial. If you are new to this channel, do subscribe to us and turn on the bell notification. I upload tutorials regarding designs for beginners and advanced users. So without wasting time, let's get into it. First create a new design by going to files, select new design. The unit we are gonna use in this tutorial is centimeter. Create a new sketch on the right plane. Go to line command and draw a horizontal line from the origin of length 7 cm. Click OK. Rotate our screen little bit. Under modify go to move command. Select this straight line and drag it in this direction. But first check the create copy option. Drag it up to 7.5 cm. Deselect the line. So the line has been copied. Repeat the same step. Select the line. Check the create copy option and drag it in this direction up to 10 cm. Click on this wheel and rotate it at an angle of 90 degree. Deselect the line again. Select the line. Check the create copy option and drag it up to 7.5 cm. Click OK. Here is all our lines are aligned properly. Finish sketch. Create another sketch on the front plane. This time check the 3D sketch option. Go to line command. Select this end point as the first point of our line and this point as the second point. Click OK. Repeat the same on this side. Do the same thing for these two lines. Now under create go to fit point spline. For the first point select this one and as the second point select this one. Repeat the same here. Now from this angle our splines are not clearly visible. So rotate it little bit. Go to front plane. Now if we click on the spline here we can see we have two control line which are tangent to the spline. Now select this control line under constraint go to horizontal or vertical so this control line will be horizontal repeat the same for the remaining three control lines now in order to control the curvature of the splines we need to assign some dimensions so go to sketch dimension select this control line and give it a length of two centimeter we will assign same length to the remaining three control lines. So under constraint, click on equal, select this control line and this one. So they will be equal to each other. That means the length of the control line will become 2 cm. Repeat the same for remaining two control lines. Here is our profile ready. So finish sketch. Now Go to surface tab, under create, click on loft. For the profiles, select these straight lines. Here we have our four profiles. Now we need to add guide rails. So click on this arrow and start adding the guide rail. Select these edges 
here we have added our first guide rail now for adding the second guide rail click on the add button and start adding these edges click ok here is our surface ready now in order to convert it into body we need to provide some thickness to the surface so go to solid under create click on thicken for the faces select this surface direction symmetric and give it a thickness of 0.5 cm so the total thickness of the sheet will be 1 cm click ok go to fillet select these edges and give them a fillet radius of 3.5 cm press enter Now again go to fillet, select these two edges and give them a fillet radius of 0.1 cm. Click OK. Now we need to create two holes on our body. So click on front plane, go to display, camera and select the orthographic option. Create a new sketch on the front plane. Go to center dry circle, uncheck the 3D sketch option, draw the circle of diameter 3 cm. Now go to sketch dimension, select the center and this end point and give them a horizontal distance of 4 cm. Now go to horizontal or vertical, click on this center and this end point so they will be horizontally aligned to each other. Finish sketch. Go to extrude. The profile has been already selected. Drag it in this direction. Operation cut. So the profile would be cut from the body. Click OK. Create another sketch on the top plane. Go to center dial circle and draw a circle of diameter 3 cm. Go to sketch dimension. Select this endpoint and the center and give a horizontal distance of 4 cm. Under constraint, go to horizontal or vertical. Select the endpoint and the center so they will be horizontally aligned to each other. Finish sketch. Go to extrude. The profile has been selected already. Drag it upward in this direction. Change the direction to symmetric. So the profile would be cut through the whole body. Operation cut. Click OK. Now press A to go to appearance. I am going to use this paint metallic blue color on it. Do some little bit of adjustments. Done. Here is our design ready. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial. Till then, keep designing and design whatever you love. Bye bye.